Well, hello to everyone, and welcome to the Kingdompreneur by the Success Calls. We are truly grateful you took time out of your busy schedule to join us for this amazing call. I am so excited to introduce the host for this call, Dr. Stan Harris, a.k.a. Dr. Breakthrough, who is a serial entrepreneur, evangelist, life coach, martial artist, husband, father. He's a student as well as a teacher. So, um, again, I'm so excited to turn this call over to Dr. Stan Harris. Take it away. All righty, thank you very much. That's my lovely wife, Nadia, my ABCD, adorable brown caramel delight, but I told her I just had to add ABCDEF, adorable brown caramel delight, emanating favor. He defines the wife, finds a good thing, obtain a favor. So I told her, you know, you, I had some favor, but now you multiplied the favor that I have, so I appreciate her uh, so much. And about five and a half, almost six years ago now, we started this call, and we didn't know if we'd go a week, uh, two weeks, uh, you know, four weeks, and here we are now almost six years later. And so, again, just in a nutshell, this Kingdompreneur Bible Success Call, my acronym for Bible, Breakthrough Insights, Bringing Life's Enrichments. Well, you know, I've got a special guest tonight that over 41 years ago we got connected, and and uh, I tell you what, it's been an incredible journey. Um, Myron Golden is off the chart. I mean, this guy, we met in the weight room, and <laughs> and the rest has been history but uh, we've both spoken all over the wo- all over the world, and uh, and uh, Myron has an incredible way of teaching business. Uh, wh- I mean, breaks it down so simple. Somebody said uh, profund- simplicity rather is profundity's most becoming outfit, and uh, Myron knows how to do that. Uh, he's the one that influenced me. Also, you know, some things I was having success, but I didn't know why. I would just tell people, just do it. Mine's like, bro, bro, just slow down a little bit. And uh, and he's great at teaching and training and got a, a just a genius mind when it comes to business and also the Bible and uh, very practical down to earth and got an incredible sense of humor. So he's got the full package you're going to enjoy. I'm holding in front of me, I got a powerful book that I've read several times. It's called From the Trash Man to the Cash Man How Anyone Could Get Rich Starting from Anywhere. And so for this special edition of this Kingdompreneur Bible Success Call, I couldn't think of anybody better than somebody who actually has his own academy, Bible Success Academy, uh, Myron Golden. And uh, so, hey, Myron, thank you, man, for taking time out of your busy schedule. I know you're on your way to Hawaii with your beautiful, lovely wife, Tony, of 33 years. Thank you for taking time to come by the Kingdompreneur Bible Success Call. Oh, just a second. Uh, I think you got to hit star six to unmute yourself, Myron. Uh, I apologize. Uh, star six should unmute your line. All righty, just a second. Here. I got it unmuted. Hey, I didn't. I didn't. Hey. I didn't have my phone in my hand, and I had to figure out where I put it. So. <laughs> So, <laughs> hey, so. hey, that's as bad as me one time asking, uh, where's my phone at, Nadia? She's like, uh, you mean the one you have it up to your ear? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, has it come to that? All right. So, yeah, um, yeah, I didn't have my phone on me because it's over there charging. And um, so, anyway, anyway, well, I appreciate the opportunity to be on the, um, on the, on the Biblepreneur, uh, a Kingdompreneur Bible Success Call. It's so amazing that that people talk about things they don't understand. You know, I, I, I love the fact that this is a kingdom-centered call. And and I love the fact that you are teaching people business as a part of kingdom. Business is one of the most important parts of the kingdom of God. In fact, many times in Scripture, Jesus said the kingdom of heaven is light, and then he started talking about a business. Or he started talking about a businessman. The kingdom of God is like a man seeking goodly pearls. That's a businessman. And when he had found one pearl of great price, he went and sold all that he had, and he bought that pearl. He said the kingdom of God is like a man who, who uh, found the field, and he went and sold all that he had and bought that field. The kingdom of heaven is like unto a man who called his servants unto him. And over and over, and he divided unto them his goods. And the one he gave one talent to another, he gave two, and to another, he gave five talents. And over and over and over again, Jesus said the kingdom of heaven is like, and then he talked about a business. And, and people say, People say, um, why do you always talk about business? Because it's in the Bible. The reason I talk about business is the same reason I talk about heaven. The reason I talk about them both at the same time is because Yeshua himself talked about both of them at the same time. So if the Messiah 
could talk about the kingdom of heaven and business in the same breath, in the same sentence, in the same context, then I would be remiss not to do the same thing. Jesus was a marketplace minister. When Jesus went out to recruit people to promote the gospel of the kingdom, by the way, which Jesus preached, he did not preach the gospel of salvation, even though he was salvation, he preached the gospel of the kingdom. When he went out to preach the gospel of the kingdom, he did not recruit a bunch of preachers. He didn't recruit a bunch of prophets. He didn't recruit, he didn't recruit a bunch of religious leaders. He recruited a bunch of business people to help him promote the message of the kingdom. Uh, what's God's plan for you never to have lack again? God's plan for you never to have lack again. By the way, people say, oh, yeah, that, oh, you ta- I hear you talk about that business stuff, but that's Old Testament. Well, let me give you a New Testament perspective on the fact that business is a good idea because business is a God idea. In fact, God's plan for you never experiencing lack again in your life is a concept called business. Go look at 1 Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses, um, I think it's verse 11 and 12. It says, and that you study to be quiet and to do your own business, working with your hands, as we commanded you, that you may walk honestly toward them that are without. That's talking about paying your light bill on time paying your house payment on time, paying your phone bill on time, that you may walk honestly toward them that are without. And then it says, and that ye may have lack of nothing. What's God's plan for you to have lack of nothing? That you study to be quiet and to do your own business, not do your own job. In fact, and I'm not saying you should go quit your job, but the reality is I've only been able to find two classifications of jobs in the Scripture. Everybody else owned the business. Every major Bible character for the most part, most unless they were in slavery, unless they were in bondage somewhere, every major Bible character owned their own business. I want you to think about that. You talk about kingdom. So the fact is, the fact is, the only two classifications of jobs I can find in the Bible are slaves and soldiers. Everybody else owned the business. So don't think that you are leaving the will of God to start a business. No. God's design is to have a business. Um, That's how God set the whole thing up. The Bible says, um, prepare thy work without and make it fit for thyself in the field. Afterwards, build thy house. Business is a good idea because business is a God idea. In fact, before God made man, he gave man a perspective. He gave man a job to do. He gave him work to do and that is to, to protect and keep the Garden of Eden. By the way, let me give you a definition of Garden of Eden. The Garden of Eden. Garden means enclosure or a place of protection, and Eden means pleasure. So the Garden of Eden was God's protected place of pleasure for man, and God's protected place of pleasure for you and your family is your home, and God's protected place of fe- pleasure for your home is, is, um, is a business. So what you, desire, what you should desire to do is to have a business that can change your life for the rest of your life. Since this is called the Kingdompreneur uh, Bible Success Call, I'm going to explain to you the concept of kingdom. I love the concept of the kingdom of God. The scripture says that seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Jesus said, don't worry about what you're going to eat. Don't worry about what you're going to drink. Don't worry about what you're going to put on. He said, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Hmm. I wonder why he said, don't worry about material things, but seek the kingdom of God, and the material things will be taken care of automatically, basically, what he said. So when it says, seek ye first the kingdom of God, that word seek doesn't mean to look for. You go look it up yourself. The word seek means to worship. And the word, why does it say, what does the word worship mean? It means to yield to. It means to, it means to yield your life to. Notice I didn't say surrender your life to. I said yield your life to. And by the way, the reason I don't use the word surrender anymore, I was speaking at a conference and I was talking about surrendering. And a lady who was at the conference, who was actually speaking at the conference, she said, Brother Mayer, I hear you talk a lot about surrendering to God, but um, the Bible doesn't talk about surrendering. Surrendering is something you do to a foe or an enemy. The Bible talks about yielding. I mean, the Bible talks about yielding to God, but it doesn't talk about surrender. I said, wow, that's interesting. So you know what I did? I looked it up. And sure enough, could not find the word surrender in the Bible. You know, all the Jesus I surrender. All to him I freely give. That sounds good, but it's, not, it's just not biblical. But yielding is a biblical concept. See, yielding is something you can do to a, fr- to a friend, a family with, in relation to a friend, a family member, somebody that you love, somebody that loves you, yielding. So I'm going to give you the best definition of the kingdom of God. The Bible says we should seek first the kingdom of God, worship the kingdom, 
bow down to the kingdom, yield to the kingdom of God. So when you understand what a kingdom is, which I didn't understand until I went over to uh, so I went over so I went over to London, and um, I was speaking at Bishop Wayne Malcolm's church, and when I was there, um, I was preaching. After I got done preaching, he said. He said, Brother Myron, we used to have a much nicer church, but the queen took it. I said, she took it? What do you mean she took it? You know, I didn't understand that being an American. And um, she said, he said, um, yeah, she took it. He said, she took it. I said, well, what do you mean she took it? He said, he said, well, she needed it for something, so she took it. And now I really got mad, right? I'm like, I'm my Amer- all my American rights rose up inside of me. I, thought, I said, she needed something? Something? She needed it for something, and you're okay with that? And she took it? He said, and he looked at me like I had four heads, and he said, it doesn't matter. She's the queen. And in that moment, I realized that I had no idea about kingdom. See, because when you grow up in a kingdom and you live in a kingdom, you realize that everyone and everything in the kingdom belongs to the royal family. Did you hear what I just said? When you grow up in a kingdom and you live in a kingdom, everyone and everything in the kingdom belongs to the royal family. And because it belongs to the royal family, if they take it, they've only taken what's theirs. And the reason they've taken what's theirs is because, because they, own, they already owned it anyway. So when we get ready to think about yielding to God, are you, what if God wants you to go somewhere you don't want to go? It doesn't matter. He's the king. The king can do with the king's property whatever the king wishes to do. So I'm going to just quickly give you a couple of things, and then I'm going to tell you where you can get a free copy of my book and learn a lot more great biblical kingdom principles. So here we go. Um, there are two kingdoms at work here. The two kingdoms are the kingdom of God and the kingdom of Satan. So the, um, the, whole, the whole Bible is a, is a tale of two kingdoms. What are these two kingdoms? Well, one is the kingdom of God, and the other one is the kingdom of Satan. I'm going to tell you God, the kingdom of, have God's kingdom objective for you. God's kingdom objective for you. It's fourfold. It's a fourfold kingdom objective. What is it? It's it's freedom, profit, abundance, and life. Now, I'm going to define those four components. Freedom means you have time. When When you don't have freedom, you don't have time. Somebody else controls your time, and you're not free. So freedom means you have time. I'm sorry. No, freedom means you. I'm sorry. Let me start over. Freedom means you have a choice. Like when you're bound by something, you have no choice. Someone and something else controls you. So the kingdom of the kingdom of God's objective is freedom. What's freedom? It means you have a choice. Wages. I mean, profits. Freedom. Profits means you have time. What do you mean profits means you have time? Well, see, when you earn a wage, a wage you're selling your time. But when you have a profit, you can multiply. You can multiply your profit, and therefore, in the same amount of time, if I sell. If I sell ink pens, it takes no longer to sell a million ink pens than it takes to sell one. So what happens is by selling whatever my offer is for a profit and selling it in bulk, it gives me the opportunity to free up my time. I'm not exchanging time for dollars anymore. So profits means I have time. Um, abundance, what does that mean? Abundance means, abundance means I have money. And by the way, money is essential. And money is not inherently bad, and money is not even inherently neutral. Money is inherently good. How do I know it's inherently good? Because that's what God told me in the Bible. The substance around the world that represents wealth and always has universally is gold. Well, guess what? The first time gold is mentioned in the Bible, God tells us that it was good. So we know that money is inherently good. I, more on that later. I don't even have time to go in. I don't even have time. I'll, I'll break that down in my doctoral thesis. And you'll have an opportunity to reset. <laughs> okay, I'm just, mess, I'm just messing with you. So anyway, so um, understand, understand that the kingdom objective for you, freedom, profit, abundance, and the last one is life. Life is life means you are you get to you are an expression and an extension of God. That's what life is. So so. Those are the kingdom of God's objectives. What are the kingdom of Satan's objectives? The kingdom of Satan's objectives are bondage, wages, lack, and death. Bondage, wages, lack, and death? What, what do you mean? Well, bondage. Satan wants you to get you bound by sin so you have no choice, um, so that sin takes a hold on you. And you know, you already know people who can't quit smoking and 
can't quit drinking and can't quit overeating and can't stop looking at pornography and can't stop committing fornication and can't stop um, committing homosexuality. You, you, we all know people who are out there in the world and they're bound by sin. Why? Because Satan is a king who wants to make you a slave. So slavery. Wages. What do I mean wages? Wait, well, the wages, ultimately the wages of sin is death. But wages means you have no time. So Satan wants you to have wages instead of profit. That's why the Bible says redeeming the time because the days are evil. To redeem means to buy back, to rescue from loss, and to improve our opportunity, which means as an entrepreneur, as a kingdompreneur, what I'm doing is I'm going to use my money to buy back my time. I'm not going to use my time to get money. So wages, I'm bondage, wages. Bondage means you have no choice. Wages means you have no um, time. Lack means you have no money. And death means you have no life. You are no longer an extension and an expression of God. So those are the two kingdom objectives. You got that. Okay, so now let me define what the kingdom of God is. I'm going to give you the definition of the kingdom of God, and then I'm going to wrap it up. So here's the definition of the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is I yield myself to God as the king of my life. God, I am not the king of Myron Golden. God is the king of Myron Golden. Yeshua HaMashiach is the king of Myron Golden. He is the Adonai. He is the Lord, the owner, the master, the ruler of my life. I am not the Lord, the owner, the master, ruler of my life, but God is. So that's the first, that's the first part of the kingdom of God. The second part of the kingdom of God is <laughs> that, that not, only, not only do I yield my life to God as king, but once I yield my life to God as king, I get to rule over my assignment as a king. So, see, Satan is a king who wants to make you a slave. God is a king who wants to make you a king. Now, that's awesome. And all you got to do is decide whether you'd rather be a king or a queen. If you're a woman, God wants, to make you a, God wants to make you a queen. That's what the kingdom of God is about, God becoming your king and then you becoming one of his kings or queens. So the kingdom of God is God. I yield myself to God as king of my life. My assignment yields to me, and I, I rule over my assignment as a king, and then I use the assignment that I rule over to serve the people I come in contact with. That is the kingdom of God in a nutshell, the definition of the kingdom of God. What is? What is the kingdom of Satan? The kingdom of Satan is the exact opposite. You yield your life to Satan as king, and when you yield your life to Satan as king, Satan becomes, um, you yield your life to Satan as king, and then Satan wants to, you to try to rule over other people, and then rule, use the people you rule over to serve stuff to yourself. That's the difference between the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God. So in order to be seeking the kingdom of God. That means when you find something in the scripture, you yield to it because the king is the one who said it. it was, it's the king's decree. We do it because the king's decree, 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 not because we necessarily agree. But we do agree. Why? Because it's the king's decree. He has the right to do with my life whatever he desires to do with my life. With that in mind, I just want to share with you, like, these are principles that are so critically important to understand as a kingdom premier. So, I'm going to tell you where you can get a free copy of my book. Like my book is called From the Trash Man to the Cash Man, How Anyone Can Get Rich Starting from Anywhere. And, and when they um, – and I found out recently that they're selling my book online on Amazon for $60. And I said, no way. And then I found out the highest price they were selling it for is $800. Now I think the lowest price is like $50-something. The highest price for that book on Amazon is $53. Somebody said to me, Myron, um, you know, you can, you can get Amazon to make them take that down. I said, why would I want to take it down? It makes a great story. So what I'm going to do, instead of you going to Amazon and buying my book for $50, for $50 or $800, I'm going to give you a copy of my book for free. Not only am I going to give you a copy of my book for free, but I'm also going to give you a two-week free trial membership to my membership academy, to my online academy called Bible Success Academy, where I teach stuff like the stuff you've been learning today. I teach it. You get one audio per week. You get one video per month. Plus, there's already a bunch of bonus content in there. In fact, when you first start, I'm going to give you a free trial access to the membership site if you take a free copy of the book. So the membership site is regularly $27.99 a month. I'm going to give you a two-week trial for free. After that, you'll be charged $27.99. But I'm going to give you a copy of my book for free. And when you get the book, I'm only going to ask you to pay $9.99 shipping and handling. You pay $9.99 shipping and handling. I'm going to send you the book for free. I'm going to send you some swag for your computer. I'm going to send you a sticker with the Bible Success Academy logo on it. 
I'm going to send you a sticker with the Virtual Millionaire Club logo on it, and I'm going to send you this stuff for free, and you get to try the membership for free. If you don't like the membership, just send us an email within two weeks. We'll cancel it. Your card will never be charged for it. If you hate the book, after you get it, we will send – what you do is you send us an email and say, Myron, I hated your book. I can't even believe I wasted my time reading something like that. And you send us an email telling us you didn't like the book, and you'll, we'll send you your nine ninety nine that you paid for shipping back, and you'll get to keep the book. I can't make you a better offer than that, so that's the offer I'm going to make you. And, um, and so go try the free membership. Get the free copy of the book. You can get that by going to www.freebookandtrialoffer.com, www.freebookandtrialoffer.com. When you go to that website, you'll, get, you'll be able to take advantage of the book. We're going to eat, when you take advantage of it, we're going to email you the first three chapters of the book so you don't even have to wait till the book comes to start reading it. Like you can start reading it today. And then you'll have the, by the time your book gets there, you'll have the first three chapters already read. You'll be able, you'll get the sticker for your computer and you can put one on your computer and one on your iPod if you want to or whatever, um, or on your computer and on your phone, whatever you'd like to do. And, and try the Bible Success Academy and you'll be glad you did. Go to freebookandtrialoffer.com. Take advantage of the free book. Take advantage of the free trial of the membership site. Dr. Stan, I'm going to turn it back over to you. Wow. Powerful, man. I'm looking at my copy of From the Trash Man to Cash Man I've read several times. And, uh, folks, by the way, I've been a member of the Bible Success Academy uh, since its inception, right? And, uh, Myron, before you close out, though, uh, real quick, and this is, again, thank you, folks. If you don't take advantage of this offer, matter of fact, somebody just texted me late said, if you're waiting for me, you are already late. <laughs> she sent me, she mm-hmm. already made her order while you were talking, man. She mm-hmm. went to free book and trial offer dot well. com and show me her receipt and everything, man. <laughs> That's what's so, up. But if you, again, like Myron said, listen, here's the thing. You can learn powerful stuff. I mean, some of you, you're already part of this Kingdom Printer call, um, and, uh, and you can get some additional training, you know, uh, from what Myron's doing. But here's the thing. Myron has a way, like you said, you're going to get the book for free. You get two weeks. Um, to get in there, the Bible Success Academy, which I've been paying every month since its inception. So, uh, and by the way, I know Myron's part of a mastermind group where I, I don't know, what is it, 30,000 for the year or something like that? 30,000 so, a year, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, so come on, folks. But here's the thing. It, what, what if, you know how I am. I'm a kingdompreneur. So, so why don't I get, why don't I get this, not just for free? Why don't I actually get to a place where I can get paid? To learn, would you, Myron? What if somebody like is like me, and they say, you know, I like, I love Myron, I love his teaching, but I love even more when I can get paid <laughs> to uh, to to listen to him and to be trained uh, and so forth. So Absolutely. you've got an affiliate so, program, right? I have got an affiliate program. That's what the Virtual Millionaire Club is all about. It's an affiliate program where I actually pay out seventy two percent. And and and, the, and the, it's what's really interesting is the reason we pay out 72% is because 72 is eight times nine. The rule of 72 is how compound interest is is calculated, and uh, the rule of 72 is probably the most important number in your life as far as creating wealth. And and just really quickly, why eight times nine? Eight is the number for abundance and wealth. Nine is the number for truth. The Bible Success Academy is where we teach you the truth about wealth. So we decided we're at the Virtual Millionaire Club, we're going to pay out 72% affiliate commission, which means when you give, after you become a member, if you give my book away to your friends on Facebook, after you create your affiliate link, I'll pay you 72% of the $9.99. You're, and that's right, you'll earn $9.19 every time you give away a copy of my book. If they keep the membership, which is $27.99 a month, and you keep the membership, as long as both you and they are a member, I'll pay you $20.15 a month for the, every membership that you refer. We have people making hundreds and thousands of dollars a month from this membership site. Plus, we've got a $99 program that we sell that's a part of my affiliate program that when you buy it, you also can earn $72 from that program. And we've got a, a $999 program that, by the way, next month I'm raising the price because I shouldn't have, should have never sold it that low in the first place. But next month we're raising the price of that program to $19.99 but we pay out 72% affiliate commission. So right now, if you get it, you, you'll you earn uh, – if you get that program, and we'll tell you more about that later, but if you get that program, what's going to happen is you'll 
be uh, you'll, right now you can get it for one payment of 9.99 or two payments I think of uh, 5.97. And um, after that, next month the price is going up. In September the price is going up to 19.99. And there's a whole bunch of strategic reasons which I'll explain on a Facebook Live one of these days why I'm doing that. But um, so. So get we'll, we'll go to well, wait a minute, Mark, that, but that's one of the extra bonuses too. When you do a Facebook Live, those of us oh, who yeah. are members, we get to just Absolutely. tag that forward that with our link in the bottom. Is that right? And so you Absolutely. work for so us. I, so, so I literally go to work for you selling the membership site. I'll do a Facebook Live. You guys can put your link in the in the post when you share it on your Facebook page. I don't give them the link to the site. So I'll do a Facebook Live. I'll teach the concept. You share the link. When your people find the link and they buy it, then you get credit and you get the 72% on the book, on the membership. If you bought the $100 product, you get 72% on that. If you bought the $1,000 program, you get 72% on that. When it goes to $2,000, you're going to get 72% on that. Think about that. You'll have a program that I'll promote for you. I'll do the hard work. All you have to do is share it in your Facebook link, Facebook timeline, and when you do, you get um, you can earn up to you'll be able to earn almost fifteen hundred dollars for that one sale. So um, I really set it up. Hopefully that you'll take advantage of it, and if you do, you will definitely win. I have a guy who last month he bought he he, he had been a member of the Bible Success Academy for a while, and last month he um, he bought the um, nine ninety nine upsell and ended up having some people sign up and then buy that program. And he ended up making he ended up making fourteen hundred dollars, um, and he only paid nine ninety nine. So he made all of his money back plus a profit the same day, um, not the same day, but the same week that he bought the program. So guys, it I can't set it up any better than that for you. So um, you deserve the best because you give your best. So go out and win, and you'll be glad you did. God bless. I'm going to turn it back over to you, right. Doctor Breakthrough. I've got to run out the door. I've got an appointment. I appreciate the opportunity to share on the call. Go to freebookandtrialoffer.com and take advantage of the special offer. All right, and this is international too, so you folks from Australia that listen and you folks from all around, again, it's international. It's, it's in the Internet. So, again, freebookandtrialoffer.com. Matter of fact, what I did, I also just got the domain name kingdompreneur.biz, so kingdompreneur.biz. And uh, so, again, um, if I'm your mentor, I'm your teacher, I'm your trainer, uh, I'm telling you, if I have any influence over you, this is what you need to do. This is what I'm part of.